pace we've had oh, this month yeah. today, That's right? Like, yesterday was pretty crummy, but I like today's forecast. Yeah, we had a little more sun. Mm -hmm. the temperatures were really nice out there, close to 60 degrees. If you've got some time, get out and enjoy it because it is going to change. Now, the temperatures slower to change, but the skies will become cloudy with a little bit of rain moving in here over the next 24 hours. You're looking at Greensboro today where we still had some clouds out there, but from time to time, had a little bit of sun peeking through that allowed the temperatures to get up there into the 50s, close to 60. Right now in Greensboro, 56 degrees, Winston-Salem at 57, Asheboro 58, 59 in Burlington. Those 50s extend up to Stewart, Elkin, Yakinville. Mountain ridges are in the upper 40s this afternoon. We do have rain returning tomorrow. Again, it stays mild tomorrow, then turns colder Wednesday with a little bit of rain around. And we're also watching a southern storm that may bring us a little precipitation on Thursday. Right now, it looks like it's going to be just a little bit too far south, so only about a 20% chance. Our highest rain chances come in tomorrow, and that should be late day. Across the Carolinas, we've got a lot of sun mixed with just a few clouds and no rain. That'll change by morning. As a warm front lifts north, we have clouds increasing tonight. We have some patchy light rain and drizzle around tomorrow morning with temperatures close to 40 degrees on this map. It'll show you the temperatures as well as the sky conditions. See the clouds rolling in early tomorrow morning. That blue that is patchy light rain. That's around 7 a.m. This is lunchtime where we are close to 60 degrees and we stay mild into the afternoon. Most of the measurable rain and some of it could be heavy at times comes in late afternoon and into the nighttime hours where you can see late night approaching midnight. Some heavier rain pushing pushing through the triad that is coming from a weather system that is out to our west and so far limited severe weather with this. There's just a chance for a few isolated storms deep south today and then into our area for Tuesday and then out of here by Wednesday. You'll watch the steady progression of clouds moving northward into our area. A little bit of rain over spreading us uh, during the day tomorrow. That warm front lifts north. That's when we get a boost in the temperatures Tuesday. Feels pretty good, but we've got the overcast skies and you can see the rain kind of pushing in and slicing through the area. So if you've got some travel plans down east, tomorrow is pretty dry, but by tomorrow night into early Wednesday, that's when the rain arrives at the coast. We get cooler air starting to push in on Wednesday and those numbers going down with highs only in the 40s for Wednesday afternoon, which makes the upper 50s and close to 60 tomorrow extra special, right? You see rain chances going up a little bit by late afternoon and evening in the triad for the foothills. Patchy light rain possible in the morning, but it becomes more likely in the afternoon. So make sure you bring an umbrella rain jacket to work. You may need it on the way home for the mountains. Temperatures are in the mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. Also with rain kind of stepping up a notch by late day. Here are the rain chances moving through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We've got a lingering rain chance on Wednesday with temperatures in the upper 40s. We're a little bit colder on Thursday with highs in the mid 40s by then. And we're going to be tracking a storm system that is to our south. This shows you Wednesday afternoon. That front again is pushed through the colder air starting to come in here. Moving into Thursday, moisture starting to gather. There's an area of low pressure that forms on the front. Looks like it's going to form far enough to the south down over Florida that most of the moisture stays to the south with just a little bit maybe kind of poking into our area. So we're going to watch that really closely because if it does, some of it could fall in the form of a few wet snowflakes out there. Right now does not look like a major winter storm and I've only got a 20% chance of precipitation in for Thursday. Significantly colder 20s for Friday and Saturday morning.